So the safety aspect of airless application is there's always a consequence. If you inject yourself, what I want to talk about is the injection from an airless application. So if you depress the trigger and your hand or any part of your body is too close, it will enter your skin. So what would I do if I shot myself with an airless gun? Heaven forbid it never happens, but accidents happen. So if I shot myself with an airless or a hose burst or a fitting came loose, there's an instantaneous squirt of material that will enter the body. It's got to be treated like a snake bite. So basically what you're looking to do is with bandages, you will put a bandage over. You won't cut it open and try and suck the paint out. You'll see that there's just a little mark and it won't bleed much, interestingly enough. So you will cover the wound and then you will use a pressure bandage to bandage that limb up as far as you can and keep it slightly elevated. And then, of course, you'll seek medical assistance immediately. So that means ambulance hospital. And that's why I mentioned the high pressure injection card. It's a medic alert card that gives the physician some indication of what you've just done. So when, the, fundamentally, when they look at it, they say, oh, it's just a little scratch or a small, a small mark on your skin. You've got to understand that you've just injected your body with the fluid in which you were trying to apply. So it's important that that is looked at and treated accordingly to an injection. So pressure bandage, elevated, straight to the hospital.